After a week of public closure meetings that started last Monday, many of the community members who spoke had concerns over the impact statements. Barbara Ron has more details. That building is half empty. It doesn't matter if I had 10 more kids, 60 more kids, lose 20, you still have a facility that was built for 1200 that has about 650. That's what that's what the state's going to look at. Harrison County Superintendent Doris Stutler says the big picture for these proposed consolidations is that the county continues to have declining enrollment numbers. Dozens of faculty members, support staff, parents, students, alumni, and members of the community showed up to the six closure public meetings, ready to voice their concerns and ask questions of the Harrison County Board of Education. The three impact statements, each more than 70 pages long, describe current student enrollment, the projected future of personnel numbers and bus routes, among other topics. Superintendent Doris Stutler has told 12 News in the past that no one will lose their jobs if the consolidation path is taken. Despite the numbers in the proposed Mountaineer Elementary impact statement that projected a total of 13 teachers whose jobs, quote, will be cut during the yearly staffing process, end quote, Stutler still has the same message. I've met with all the faculties. We're not cutting positions. I will take you all. Although Stutler's goal is to keep everyone throughout the merger and consolidation, there are remaining projected 21 and a half teacher positions under attrition, according to the documents. And as people retire and leave, we just won't fill them back. Other issues parents had were what they say were inaccurate lengths of bus routes. Stutler told 12 News that the Director of Transportation of Harrison County Schools, Jim Lopez, is looking over and adjusting the expected bus routes accordingly. During closure meetings, many speakers also asked for clarity on the true enrollment and utilization numbers as there were discrepancies. Stutler says they were required to use numbers from the most recent Comprehensive Educational Facilities Plan, which was in 2019 and 2020, and the October 1, 2023 certified list. This is what we use to certify to get funding for the next school year. It changes daily. Stutler says those daily changes have caused the discrepancies. In the proposed Mountaineer Elementary, it says the county has experienced a loss of 1,248 students in 10 years. And between school year 2022, 2023, and 23-24, there were 301 fewer students. And we are a business that's 100% funded with taxpayer money. Um, it's a big responsibility when your total operating budget is, you know, tax-based and tax-funded and everything that we do. In Clarksburg, Barbara Vaughn, 12 News.